are back with more Raw Round Robin tournament action. Kicking off things with Group F here in round number six. We got Matt Hardy taking on Spike Dudley. A couple guys who have uh, had very good careers in their lives. Let's go ahead and run down the points real fast for these two. Spike Dudley's currently in first place with seven points, whereas Matt Hardy is in second place with four points after leading this tournament from the very first round. So Matt Hardy's pretty upset about losing that first place spot. He wants to go back into the front. He's gonna try to do a backslide just like that, but it's gonna be kicked out of before even a one count happens. Spike Dudley now throwing it back, holding on to the head and just pummeling his head over and over like a basketball against the canvas. Matt Hardy coming back with the right hand, but he's blocked and won by Spike. It sends him into the corner. Discus punch missed. Spike grabs him from behind. Nice snap there, there by Matt Hardy. And now just punching away on little Spike Dudley. Two of the most predominant brothers in wrestling. Nice like, go under backdrop by Spike Dudley there. Yeah, two of the most predominant families in wrestling, the Hardys and the Dudleys. Going at it here. Yeah, both these guys want to be in first place. Spike Dudley currently hones it by himself after getting a nice win last week. Or last round, should I say. The drop kick there to the gut of Matt Hardy. Drops him down, follows it up with an elbow drop. Does it again, but Hardy gets out of the way. Matt Hardy missing the drop kick. Gets a hold of Spike Dudley. Big right hand sends him back a couple steps, but Spike comes back with a drop kick to the gut again. He's working on the tummy of Matt Hardy. Spike's down, starts to get back up, dodges that uh, falling fist, and then drop kicks Matt to the side of the head. Big right hand by Spike Dudley puts Matt Hardy in the turnbuckle. Matt Hardy ducks the line, gets behind him, and hits him with a neck breaker. Drop in little Spike Dudley. Break right down on the mat. Spike Dudley going for drop kicks against a rope. I don't think he realizes where Matt Hardy is. There he goes. He's got him now, kicking him in the gut. Matt grabs him. Irish whip is reversed, and Matt Hardy hits the turnbuckle hard. Then a drop kick sends him up and One, over to the outside. Two, Spike Dudley follows him out. Three, drop kick misses. Five, Matt Hardy goes to grab him, misses. Five, Everybody's missing everything. As Matt Hardy dives back into the ring at six. Spike dives in at seven. Where's Matt Hardy going? Spike starts to taunt on him. Hits him with a back elbow as Matt Hardy grabs the back of him. Big chop on uh, Matt Hardy as he was laying up against the ropes. Goes for another drop kick, but Matt chops him out of midair. Another drop kick attempt by Spike, but it misses. Spike needs to quit throwing drop kicks. They're not really landing as he's forced to kiss the canvas there by Matt Hardy. Matt now grabbing the head, wrenching it back over his knee. Another miss, uh, drop kick by Spike. Matt Hardy making him pay with a couple of right hands. Spike going underneath and then catching him with the DDT. Nice little maneuver there by Spike Dudley. Talking some trash. Only way a Dudley can, but Matt comes back with a discus punch or two. And a falling fist drop as well. That pissed off Spike, he starts throwing strikes, but nothing lands as Matt Hardy hits him with a spinning neck breaker. Going up to that second rope, what's got planned here? Up to the top. Oh, he's going for something, but Spike just punches him off. Matt Hardy falls awkwardly to the canvas, but the pinfall is going to be broken up by a rope break as Spike is sent into the opposite corner. Big discus punch misses. Spike Dudley now with the sleeper hold. Trying to put Matt Hardy to sleep, but it doesn't work. Matt Hardy now goes for something, Spike clubs out of it. Discus punch connects clean and drops Spike Dudley right where he stood. Big old punch, Spike Dudley gets out of the way of that double axe handle. And Matt Hardy ends up grabbing him from behind into a falling reverse DDT. B1! Spike Dudley grabs a mid taunt, goes to the back, picks him up, plants him down. Beautiful backdrop by Spike Dudley into the pin. Got a one. And only a one if we get another look at that backdrop. Spike planted him, just dropping him right on the top of his head. Goes for it again, but Matt reverses it into a crossbody. 
Both men back on their feet now. Spike misses the chop. Matt gets it from behind. Another falling reverse DDT. And we got some interference coming down as Matt Hardy goes for the pin. Run. Chris Jericho is making his way out here. Who's he going after? He's going after Spike Dudley. Just attacking the ECW original. Both were missing their respective moves there. Spike Dudley's got Matt Hardy going for the Russian leg sweep, but Jericho breaks him out of it. Jericho now putting the walls of Jericho on referee Earl Hebner as Booker T makes his way down to the ring. What the hell's going on here? Booker T going after uh, Matt Hardy, I believe. Yes, he is. As he picks up Matt and drops him down with a back suplex. Chris Jericho getting hit by a move by Spike Dudley, a little pinning predicament. Mike Dudley pinning the wrong guy as Booker T hits the bookend on Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy gets right back up though. But Booker T grabs him again. Back elbow by Hardy. Jericho with the stroke on Spike Dudley just dropping him. Matt Hardy going to go for the pin on it. Get a one and only a one as Jericho rolls out of the ring. Matt, uh, Booker T still in there trying to attack Matt Hardy. Breaks up that pinfall attempt. Now Booker T's out of here. We're back down to Spike and Matt Hardy. It's a good one-on-one -on -one matchup as Matt Hardy goes for the pin. Got a one and only a one. As Spike Dudley able to kick out of it. It's hit by the double axe handle, but Spike back to his feet. Ducks the uh, discus punch. Picks up Matt. Drops him down with the backdrop once again. Going for the pin now. Just a one count. As Matt Hardy still got a lot of fight left in him. I don't know if it was fight or just instinct. But he did it twice, kicking out both times. Going for another one. pinfall attempt. We got one, we got two count this time by Spike. Matt Hardy getting a little tired, but he's back on his feet as Spike grabs him, immediately goes behind. He's up on his shoulders, rolls him up into a pin. One. Just a one count though, is Matt Hardy able to kick out? Uh, Earl Hebner's count's a little slow, but not terrible. We've seen much worse out of him as Matt Hardy makes him kiss the canvas. Goes back up to that second rope, hits the leg drop, but he, Spike rolled out of the way. Kick to the gut by Spike. Matt Hardy grabs him, hits him with the DDT. Drops him right on that terrible haircut of his. Goes for the pin, but that's gonna be a rope break and both men are back to their feet yet again. Spike dodges the uh, discus punch, goes for the backslide, gets a one and only a one. As Matt Hardy kicks out of it. A couple good strikes there by Spike Dudley, keeping Matt Hardy down, going for another pinfall attempt. We got a one, we got a two, and only a two as Matt Hardy kicks out once again. Booker T and Jericho looking on. On the outside as Spike Dudley gets another two count on Matt Hardy. Spike just stomping him out, but Matt finally getting back to his feet. Goes a good right hand there, Spike grabs him. Right afterwards, he clubs him down with the double axe handle. Into a pin. One. Just a one count though, as Matt Hardy kicks out right away. Less than two minutes remaining in this matchup as Spike throws Matt into the ropes. This is the kick and Matt Hardy just runs off him, grabs him again. The Irish whip this time by Matt Hardy. He punches Spike as he runs in. Drops the little bastard. Spike Dudley, no oh, snapmare reversal by Matt Hardy, holds onto the head, now punching Spike in the face over and over again. Spike gets right back up after all those punches. Spike ducking the clothesline on Matt Hardy, Matt Hardy hitting him with the snapmare. Now trying to rip the head off of Spike Dudley, that ain't gonna work. Matt Hardy got him again, big forearm puts Spike into the uh, ropes. Hardy just kind of watches him, kicks him back in the ropes. He's planning something. Spinning heel kick connects, sends Spike up and over. And Jericho immediately jumps on him. And the second Booker T can, he gets a hold of Matt Hardy as well. Referee already up to a six count. All four of these guys going at it. Spike is on his feet, running the ring again. Spike, what are you doing? Oh, this is going to be a double count out. No points awarded to either wrestler as they get counted out. Move on to our next matchup. We got William Regal taking on Eddie Guerrero. 
couple WCW legends getting ready to go at it here in this Raw Round Robin. They are starting off hot. Eddie running to Regal, grabbing him, hitting him with the drop kick. Currently, uh, William Regal sitting in second place, tied with Matt Hardy with four points. And Eddie Guerrero in third place, tied with uh, everybody else with no points whatsoever. We got here as Regal reverses Eddie's Irish whip, sends Eddie across the ring. Nothing comes of it though. Regal raking the eyes and then clotheslining him up and over to the outside, following him out. The referee's already counting. Regal grabs him up, European uppercut. These two just want to do damage. Neither one of them even attempting to get back into the ring. That's going to be a very fast double count out. No points awarded to either one of these guys as we move on to the next matchup. After a 40 sec 46 second match, we got Rikishi versus Chuck Palumbo. Palumbo with zero points, Rikishi at negative two. So Rikishi definitely wants to try to get back into the, uh, into the positive. Starts off with a kick there to Palumbo, gets behind him, boost to the front. What's he gonna do here? Oh, Palumbo just pushes him off. Kick by Palumbo, he goes for the discus punch, but Rikishi grabs him, throws him right back down to the ground. See a plant here, Samoan drop by the big Rikishi. Picking Palumbo up and then just dropping him down. Palumbo last time out had one of my favorite matches I've seen in this tournament so far when he took on Test back at round number five. Just a good hard hitting fight. But now he's just got to think maybe the uh, effects of that hard match are still affecting him. As Rikishi's getting the better of him, at least for a little bit, but now he's starting to fight back. Kishi's back on his feet, grabs Palumbo, and pummels him down one fist to the back, dropped him. Kishi got him again, short arm clothesline onto Palumbo. Follows it up with a leg drop. He does here, Palumbo grabs him. Belly to belly, putting the big man down on the canvas. Kishi's back on his feet. Eats a fist there, just dodges the super kick, barely catches that one, drops an elbow right to his knee. Got Palumbo from the back, picks him up, plants him down with a side slam. Now putting the boots to him, kicking the man while he's down, hit him with a leg drop, nicely done by Rikishi, now some strikes while he's up, puts him on the ropes, grabs him, what's he got planned here? Picks him up, big scoop and a slam. Against the ropes into the Earthquake Splash! Dropping that big derriere right there across the chest of Chuck Palumbo. Now going for the pin, we got a one. We got two. Oh, 2.9. Got to imagine that if he didn't sit there and slap his ass after dropping it on Palumbo, he might have gotten the win right there. That little bit of hesitation might have cost him, but either way, he's got Palumbo up, drops him again with another Samoan drop. Both men on their feet. Right hand by Palumbo, right hand by Palumbo. Big super kick drops the Samoan. And he just, as Rikishi gets back to his feet, Palumbo grabs him again. Standing switch by Rikishi. Picks up Palumbo, drops him down with a backdrop. Nicely done by the veteran Rikishi. That's gonna be a rope break. Again, Palumbo going for that discus punch. Rikishi just grabbing him from behind. Picks him up again. Back suplex with authority. And another rope pinfall break. and another rope break. Again, Rikishi being the veteran should know better than to try to pin him that close to the ropes. But either way, super punch, I'm sorry, super kick and then a punch. Puts Palumbo on the ropes. He misses a clothesline though. And again, gets behind uh, Palumbo after a discus punch attempt. But Palumbo swifted it around, got the reverse falling DDT. Both men back on their feet looking at each other. Kishi just kicks him in the gut. Just a good Spartan kick right to the chest. Or to the gut, rather. Close line misses by Palumbo. Kishi grabs him once again from behind. Lifts him up. Plants him down with a side slam. Kishi got the head now. What's he going to do here? Oh, just punch him in the face over and over again. That works. Good strategy there by, by the big Samoan. Palumbo now raking the eyes. 
finally gets the discus punch off and Kishi just blocks it and punches him into the corner. Another reversal by Rikishi picking him up, dropping him down with the backdrop. Pinfall attempt here by Rikishi. We got one. We got two. Oh, only two. Both men back on their feet throwing punches, but only Rikishi's are landing. Gets a hold of Palumbo. Palumbo reversing it into a backdrop. Nicely done there. Gets a hold of Rikishi. Rikishi reverses it, clubs him in the back. Now to put him on the ropes. He misses the clothesline, though. Surprised he didn't try to go for that earthquake splash once again. Either way, Palumbo reversing the grab into a backdrop. Grabs the legs of Rikishi, whips them around. Rikishi real kicks them off. Missing right hands. Rikishi connecting with a kick. Palumbo grabs him. Short arm clothesline. Drops Rikishi down where he stood. Big club to the back, sends Kishi into the ropes himself. Close line misses. Big right hand by Palumbo. They're just exchanging shots now as Palumbo gets punched into the ropes. Kishi misses, misses another close line. And we have some interference here about halfway through this matchup with the A train coming out. Big back suplex by Palumbo. So Kishi gets right up immediately. Grabbed by A-Train, picked up. Back suplex by A-Train onto Rikishi. Super kick misses. Lobo's got A-Train from behind. All three guys just throwing strikes and Palumbo finally nailing one with the super kick, taking both of the big men down. Now A-Train trying to pick up Rikishi, but Palumbo keeps uh, Interfering with every move A Train tries to connect with. You think he just let him hit one move? A Train finally said, Fuck this and leaves. Russian leg sweep there by Palumbo. Putting Rikishi back down on the canvas. Big discus punch misses. Finally connects with one, but he's just spinning around and around and getting me dizzy. Ooh, good choke slam there. Or clothesline there, rather. That's going to lead to a rope break. Super kick onto Rikishi, staggered him back a little bit, but didn't drop him. Rikishi now gets Palumbo from behind, picks him up, plants him down with a side slam. Palumbo's hurting, and Rikishi knows it as he goes for the pin. Not even a one count, though, as Tim White refused to count it. Rikishi's trying it again. Just a one this time around. Here's Rikishi goes for another pin. Rikishi trying to go for another pinfall here. Not really getting any success, but maybe after a couple of stomps, he gets a one count. Still can't get the two on Palumbo. Chuck Palumbo will just not stay down for a three right now. Back to his feet. Dodges a good shot. Palumbo grabs Rikishi, pummels him down with a big right hand. Rikishi back on his feet immediately, though. Irish whips him into the ropes, into a Samoan drop. Nicely done by Rikishi. Goes for the pin, but that's going to be a rope break. With Palumbo's right leg underneath that rope by far. Right hand by Palumbo, better right hand by Rikishi. Grabs him from behind into a belly to back slam. And then a leg drop to the lower back of Chuck Palumbo. Pinfall attempt, but another rope break. Rikishi, you should know better than this, man. Get him away from the ropes. Palumbo sends him flying into the corner. And a clothesline misses. Kishi grabs him right away from behind. Goes for the German. Chuck Palumbo reverses it. Picks up Rikishi. Plants him down with a back suplex. Instantly goes for the pin. And that's a rope break for Palumbo. Kick to the gut by Chuck Palumbo onto Rikishi. Grabs him. Goes from behind. Picks him up again. Thinking back suplex and nails it this time. Going for the pin away from the ropes. We got a one and only a one as Rikishi kicks out right away. Right hand by Creek, uh, Rikishi. And then a short arm clothesline. Putting Chuck Palumbo on the ground. He's telling the fans to raise the roof. He wants to hear it. Goes for the pin here with a minute and a half left. Just a one. Gets a two. And not the three, unfortunately. Chuck Palumbo able to kick out of it. Chuck Palumbo grabs him again, belly to belly slam. 
Good show of power there from the youngster. Another wow. pinfall attempt, but just a one count as Rikishi kicks out right away. Both men back on the feet as Palumbo kicks him in the gut, grabs Rikishi. Headlock in a punch. Just a fist to the head. Nothing fancy, but very effective. As Palumbo gets a two count off of it, we have less than a minute remaining in this matchup. What happens here? Right hand by Rikishi sends Chuck Palumbo back a couple steps towards the ropes. Rikishi grabs him again, but Chuck Palumbo reverses it into a backdrop. Going for the pin with 40 seconds left. We got a one, we got a, ooh, just a one. Thought he might have got a two there, but no. Chuck Palumbo puts the boots to him, goes for the pin again. We get one, we get two, and Rikishi kicks out at two. Both men back on their feet as Palumbo grabs Rikishi. Short arm clothesline drops him right back down. Rikishi gets back up though, grabs Palumbo into a Samoan drop, lands him. Nicely done, got 10 seconds left, but both men are on their feet. Discus punch blocked and one received by Chuck Palumbo. Super kick blocked again. This is gonna go to a time limit draw. No points awarded to either competitor. As we move on to our main event, what the hell, Chris Benoit running in very late. But our main event, we got Victoria taking on Tess. Victoria and Tess both sitting at zero points so far in this tournament. Looking to turn that around right here. Victoria dodges the big boot from Tess right off the bat. Tess ducks underneath the clothesline, then eats a low blow from Victoria who just throws that leg back, trying to break it up. Tess gets a hold of her again. Irish whips her into the corner. He's got her, but no, Victoria fights out with a couple back elbows. Tess again from the back, moves to the front. Victoria pushes him off. Tess now picking up Victoria. has got her up in the air, and then drops her down. Nicely done by Tess, that stalling suplex. Now just punching away at her left hand after left hand. Doing a lot of damage there. Big boot drops Victoria where she stood. Goes for another one, but she gets out of the way and connects with a super kick of her own. Both competitors just trading boots to the face. Suplex there by Victoria. Putting Tess down, grabs him by the head and starts pummeling his head into the mat over and over again. Catches the boot, throws him back, starts stomping away on him. victoria has got the knees now, or the legs stomping him in the inside of his knee. Tess back on his feet, lands a punch, grabs her, throws her into the ropes, and then the oh, tilt to whirl slam there. Now punching Victoria again, right in the face, over and over again. Tess now from behind. Picks her up, full, oh, not full Nelson, pump handle slams her down. But Victoria reversing the move there into a nice backdrop. Again, Tess showing the power, just picking her up and slamming her down with a power slam. Going against the ropes over and over again, trying to build some power, I guess. But hits her with another power slam. Again, building up that power. I don't know why he keeps doing that. It's so weird to me. But a side slam from Tess puts Victoria back down onto the mat. Again, he's going, he just, and honestly, I think he's just trying to rev up some power, but Victoria stops him in his tracks with a low blow. Chopped by Tess, puts her in the ropes. Good right hand there, and a clothesline puts her up and over, and then he punches her on her way down. One, two. Referee up to a two count, and Victoria hits a clothesline. To a five count now as they're still Eight. fighting on the outside. Big clothesline by Victoria. Referee's Eight. up to a seven. You guys gotta get back in the ring. Man. And Tess, wait. The referee's gonna allow this match to continue even though the referee was already at a 10. I kind of like it as there's so much on the line here. With these two only being seven points back, they can still have it, they still have a chance at winning this. So their referee Tim White allowing this to continue and they're just throwing strikes back and forth. This fight is getting ugly. Victoria catching the foot there and throwing him back. Oh, Tess going for a suplex, scots her up. Puts her down ugly with a brain buster that time around. We got some interference coming out as Tajiri makes his way to the ring. 
He goes right after Test. But a super kick drops both Test and Tajiri from Victoria. And the dude here is they're all throwing strikes, mostly Tajiri grabs him. Oh, goes for that buzzsaw kick, but Test throws him backwards. Kicks him again in the leg. Now a double team. Tajiri held him as Victoria slapped the shit out of Test. More interference coming as Kevin Nash makes his way to the ring. And he goes right after Victoria. Getting the hold of her, he's thinking jackknife, but Test hits that diving elbow, but then eats a Japanese buzzsaw kick to the face. Victoria rolls back in the ring as Kevin Nash stupidly runs out. The jury now having his way with Test, her, him and Victoria, he rolls out of the ring. Big clubbing blow to the back of the head by Test onto Victoria as it's just the two of them in the ring again. Victoria with the roll up. Not even a one count before Test kicks out. Victoria now going up to the top rope. What she got planned here? Goes for the double X handle but misses. Test grabs her, moves to the back, but another low blow by Victoria. That seems to be working very well for her and the referee's not calling it, so why not continue using it? Big super kick by Victoria drops Test. This could be it right here. We get a one, a two, and nothing else. That big super kick. Victoria still thinks she's got it. Test still not fully back with us. He's kind of out of it trying to shake the cobwebs. He's back on his feet though. Moves behind Victoria and connects with a Russian leg sweep. And an elbow drop to follow it up with. Into the pin, but only a one count there. Another pinfall attempt here, gets the one, and only one as Victoria kicks out yet again. Tess grabs her, what's he doing here? Oh, goes for the boot, but she catches it and throws him back. Just a bad pin attempt there as he's in the ropes. Tess gets a hold of her. Belly to belly, no, trying to squeeze the life out of her in a bear hug. Victoria breaking the eyes and gets out of it. Goes for the pinfall. Tim White doesn't even bother counting. I don't even know if he got down there. Two counts. Elbow drop by Victoria misses. Big boot misses as well, but the second one connects. He's gonna go for the pin, but that'll be a rope break. Four minutes remaining in this matchup as Tess gets from behind, hits the crossroads out of nowhere. And he's going up top. See, so thinking elbow. Oh, he goes to crowner and he hits it right as she gets back to her feet. Tess now picks her up, pump handle slam, throws her down with authority. Follows it up with an elbow drop. I'm surprised he hasn't gone for a pin yet, but Victoria's back on her feet. Those were three massive moves there by Tess. He's got a hold of her, picks her up again. Into a brain buster. She's back on her feet once again, big scoop into the power slam. Tess throwing out all the moves and all the stops here. But the rope break there instantly as her foot is able to get to the bottom rope. Victoria's got him into a suplex. Somehow she's still in this after enduring what seemed like 45 seconds of pure damage. Just massive moves over and over again. Still able to connect with a neck breaker. Now going for the pin after the stomp to the head. Gets a two and only a two. Elbow drop there by Victoria on to test. Another pinfall attempt. One, two. Just a two count again. Victoria's so close to picking up some points here. The test will not stay down. One, two. two and only two. Super kick caught and the dragon leg whip comes out of it by Test. He's going for the pin and that's going to be a rope break. They lock up again. Scoop and a slam by Victoria. Test is down in the middle of the ring. This could be it right here. One, two, and no. Test gets out of it. With about two minutes remaining, Victoria tries again for another pinfall victory. Only gets one. Oh, we'll drop by Victoria. And a stomp to follow it up with. Another pinfall attempt. One, two. And another two count from referee Tim White. Both 
competitors on their feet. Victoria with a right hand there and a super kick dropping Test onto the other side of the ring. She's gonna go for the pin. This might be a rope break. It's not. We got a one. We got a two. And no, Test kicking out yet again. What is she gonna have to do to keep the big man down? Oh, he almost got disqualified there as he grabbed Tim White. And Victoria broke up the grapple attempt. Probably should have let him hit him. Got a couple easy points there. Either way, Tess connecting with a big short arm clothesline. Drops Victoria down, goes for the pin here. We got one, we got two, and only two with one minute remaining in this matchup. This has been a hell of a back and forth fight between these two. Victoria with a forearm there. And a clothesline sends Tess up and over to the outside. I think his head might have bounced off the steps. Oh no, there's no steps there, Never mind. Three up to a three. Kevin Nash there grabbing Bang. Victoria and hitting her with her Six. with the neck breaker. I don't know why Tess Seven. walked back out of the ring. He had the victory and Tajiri knows it. Kevin Eight. Nash working on the leg. Nine. This is going to be a double count out. Ten. Tim White gave him more time to try to get back in the ring. But yeah, double count out. No points awarded to either competitor. As we head over to the power board rankings. We got Spike Dudley in first place still with seven points. Matt Hardy and William Regal tied for second with four. Chuck Palumbo, Victoria, Test, and Eddie Guerrero all with zero points. And Rikishi with negative two. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you next time.